disclaimer, this is just my thoughts and my opinions from my personal experience. And I'm not telling you not to go here, and I'm not telling you to go here. That's your decision. For the school trying to say I'm just convincing people not to come. I feel like this. Alicia said, Alicia, I'm Christmas channel, Alicia Janae. Today's video is going to be um, things you need to know about Francis Marion University. Don't keep me out of school. Y'all better not keep me out of school. I'm getting tired of y'all trying me. Thank you. Featuring, this is just a disclaimer. Oh, yeah, featuring Kayla, Andrea, and I just want to put this. I'm not telling y'all not to come. I'm just I'm just trying to let y'all know what's tea, what's the vibes before y'all get here. Because everybody comes experience is different. Because me, even though I almost got jumped and all that, I still 10 out of 10 recommend college. Before coming to Francis and Mary, make sure you research to see if they have your major. Like some people, you know, you don't want to be, you know, taking any classes you don't need and they ain't got your major. So if they ain't got your major, just don't come. I mean, that's up to you though. That's, that's up to you. No, that's that's real. That's real. <laughs> okay. That's real. So we're just going, we're just going, first we're going to start off with the things you need to know and then I'm going to do my pros and cons in this because I got certain things that you need to know and I don't know if they pros or cons. I, I wouldn't necessarily understand if they pros or cons. You know, I just couldn't categorize them as pros or cons. So, when you go to class, you just need to, you need to read every syllabus front and back. You need to read in between the syllabus. And it's this one teacher, she posts her syllabus online and she don't read it to you. And if you don't read it, you're going to fail your first quiz in grade because she put a quiz inside the syllabus. And it'd be something simple like, email me this. Or bring this to class. So please read y'all. Y'all trying to be lazy and skim. I'm going to need y'all to read. Reading is fundamental. Fundamental in college. Go on right my professor and look up your teachers. I got to go do my um ratings for my teachers from last semester. But y'all go out there and y'all look them teachers up. And y'all make sure y'all got y'all a good teacher. So y'all, anything below three stars, do not go to them people. I'm, you're going to have to go to them, them, them advisors and be like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't jeopardize my education like this. Y'all did three stars and above. Three, four, five stars. Don't go to nobody. Two stars. No, one star. And it, it no, we're not doing that. Because y'all going to say, y'all going to be in the room crying, stressing, when Robert Professor could have helped you in the long run. Here go another one. Don't you join no group chat. Don't you join no group chat. I don't care how bad they want to get to know you. Don't you join no group chat. Y'all going to be up there fighting and tussling and thumping and bumping. Somebody sleeping with her, somebody sleeping with him. Both of y'all sleeping with him, now y'all all fighting. Please do not join no group chat. I don't got time, I don't got time when I'm out there to see y'all out there fighting. Cause I'm not breaking it up, I might record. So, just, just, be, just be mindful of who you, who, you, who, who you around. Also, just because you can have a good time with them on the weekends and at the parties do not mean they have to be your friend from the, from your nine to five at the five o'clock you know they could be your buddy they could be your buddy but from that nine to five getting that schoolwork well technically eight thirty five get that schoolwork done them is not your friends if they always want to go party y'all don't ever want y'all don't study y'all don't do nothing you just hang out with them during party hours and you don't got to go to their party i do recommend going thirsty thursday i do i do recommend it and I, that's like the only one i recommend the rest of the things I don't really recommend. The freak nick, iffy. Depending on who you go to for the freak nick. I don't even know if we have another freak nick. Because of all the stuff they got going on. I don't recommend Thursday Thursdays if you're not a morning person. And you got morning classes. I don't recommend. I recommend Thursday Thursday. Thursday Thursday in that too. Huh? Thursday Thursday in that too. Exactly. You, not you a can be in person. the bed. I've been in the bed at by 3 o'clock. And ready for class at 8 30. Oh, not me. I skip. I used to skip my um, 8 30 class at the Thursday Thursday. But, um, oh, one other thing. If you know, I'm, I, 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 you know, people be like, yeah, 8 30 college is not saying 8 30 high school. They did not lie. They, they, it wasn't no exaggeration. It wasn't no trying to scare you. That 7 30 be feeling like 5 a.m. 8 30. Yeah, but you got to get up at 7 30 to get ready. Oh, I ain't never or, shit before, like that. or before that. I get up at 8 a.m. Kayla, be realistic. Some people actually do get up and and, 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 and even if you wash up rump the night before, you you still ain't gonna be you still ain't gonna be in the good grind, the good, you know, mood. It's like you ain't gonna catch breakfast unless you wake up early. Because <laughs> breakfast starts at 7. And breakfast stop at 9 30. You can't get lunch or brunch till eleven. So you really can't eat from 9 30 to eleven. So you got to 
you know, playing around. I'm not in the dining hall anyway. You probably go to the grill and get you something to eat. But that 8 30 really be feeling like 5. And it's like, ooh. Yeah, it's just something about that. Especially during daylight saving. It's, it just eats during daylight saving. But during. But when the time go back and it be dark outside during it. Oh, you be feeling like a slug. I recommend. I recommend taking afternoon classes. I do not want to. If you're not a morning, if you're not a morning person, because our afternoon classes stop at four something. I got one class that they get out at seven. Stop at no, seven. that's nighttime classes. No. Um, if you ain't never stayed with your friends before for like a summer, a season, don't stay with them now. I I, I can see if y'all stay in separate rooms. But if y'all stay in, if y'all, well, here it is Saturday way. So if you share a room with your friend, don't do it. Um, and I'm speaking from personal experience, and I'm speaking from outside experience. I have seen people fall out and fall, start fighting. I have almost fought myself. So I just recommend y'all can stay on the same floor, but same room, you might not last. Because some people don't clean, some people are dirty, some people, I'm not saying nobody. Well, some people are talking to me dirty. But you know what? That ain't, that's not, that's not, that's what another story time. But, you know, just, you know, just pick your battles wisely. I would recommend not being with your friends because, um, some people, you just, I, you can just get it with a stranger. You know, you don't have to see them again. You just keep doing strangers. Mm hmm Until you have to, you. Because honestly, they, the strangers gonna mind their business. Honestly. Unless they want to be your friend. But, I'm not saying you don't have to be in your room uncomfortable, but, yeah, friends and all, but, I don't know. Some people just wake up one day and just they be on ten. Um, certain RA, some of them graduated. So, so shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for getting about this school. A lot of y'all graduated, especially the one I did like first semester. Them RAs, I ain't gonna count. If they ain't, they not doing their job. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna put my people down, but they don't be doing their jobs. They don't be on campus and they don't pick up their phone. Mm -hmm. So if you get locked out. Well, that show is right. I got locked out of my room. Called 10 times. They ain't as had to walk my happy self to house it. And then when house it closed, you ain't got no choice but to call them. And they don't pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't pick up because of the phone. And sometimes they do say they on the way. And they take forever to get on the way. Like, where's you at? You're supposed to be on campus. You on duty. Why are you, why are you 30, 40 minutes out? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I suggest just keep your key and your ID on you at all times. Don't, don't, don't. And make sure you don't, because I done dropped my key like three times. I lost my key the first week. Not my key, my ID the first week. So just you know, just hold tight to that uh, ID. We got, oh yeah, make sure all them documents sent. Because if them documents not sent, like your immunization form, your ID, all that stuff. If it's not sent, they're going to hold you back from being able to register for your, semester cl your spring semester classes. And you need it for they come to classes first come first serve. So if you need a class that's only available in the spring and you didn't register, you didn't see your information in. So when it's time for registration, you can't get that class that's only available in the spring. You gotta wait till the next following year and you start getting behind. Then you can't blame nobody but yourself. Cause I told you I make sure the information is in there. I told you to make sure. I told you to make sure. I told you to make sure. Mm -hmm. Make sure the fees are paid too. Yeah. Housing. Um. If you stay on housing, if you don't need a. Um, what else they got? Maltrition. I don't know what to call y'all. Maltrition. New fee. student fee. That's what it is. That's what it yep. is. Um, what else fees we got? The house and deposit. The yeah, all that stuff. Yep. The it's different fees for different things, different majors, but you know. Um, what else we got? Find some friends within your major, because yeah, you got friends that's not in your major, but you, when you got friends in your major, you can relate more to them. You don't have to be with them twenty four seven, but like when it's time to study for a test, stuff like that, y'all can get to a little group and get a little study. You you can at least have one or two people inside your major that you know, like y'all can study the work for it. If you undecided, you undecided. That's fine. Mm -hmm. You can just find people in your classes, but like that's gonna be a way more people than it is because me. The people I came to school with, and we all got the same major, we all gonna have the same classes until it's time to graduate, unless somebody fail and flunk, you know, da da da. But it's okay to fail and flunk, just don't keep doing it because you're gonna be academic probation and they're gonna kick you out of school. And I'm not, I'm, me personally, I'm not sending no email begging nobody to let me come back to this school. I'm not begging y'all to let me come back. I just think I am, respectfully. Um, they don't tell you, or they be trying to act like nobody don't know, but they make your room assignment based off your major. So if you're an art major, you get assigned with an art major. If you're a science major, you get assigned with a science major. Unless you request somebody and they can put you in the room with that request. Mm -hmm. um, psychology majors get a place to psychology majors. They, that's literally how they pair up. And I don't think they need to do that. Because just because we both have the same major don't mean we're going to like each other. 
We should just say it. I mean, it is good if you want to start studying together and stuff, but me and the people I have, we can't study together. Um, there's a lot of YouTubers on campus. Um, there's not many, but there's a lot that's none. Well, there's not many, but there's some that's none. And there are some that just put, don't post it. But well, some that post and they don't promote it. But like the ones that do promote it, um, some people gonna ask you to be in their videos. And all I'm gonna say is, if he got dreads, run. <laughs> <laughs> if he got dreads, run, run. Cause he about to put your ass on blast. And you know what? <clears throat> um, I suggest staying in the arc over the try, but you know that is decorating the try. They just get to try a little nice for y'all to come on through and see. So, but I do know the room still small. Just go to the arc. I was I was gonna say um the counter space in the arc is way bigger than the counter space in the try. I just feel like all around right, we need new uh, new updated uh freshman undergraduate housing. The apartments though they are well depending on which one you stay in. Cause um, even the new, even the newbies are old. They're like twelve years old. So I think we need some new newbies, uh, newer newbies. Um, that's all I got for things to know. So now we're gonna go into pros and cons. The pros, we're gonna do pros. Um, the walk to class ain't far, depending on which building you're going to, from where you're walking from. But most of my classes, I probably they give you ten minutes to get to class. In between classes, I get to class. You know, I still have to be in the spare. I walk fast. I walk slow, so I leave early every time. I can leave. Class can start at twelve thirty. I can leave my room. I always leave the room. I always try to be at least ten minutes early because some people, some teachers be telling you stuff in between, like the little time gap that they might not tell you in class. You know, some, so, and from my experience, be on time, you late. Be ten minutes early, you on time. So, if the class starts at twelve thirty, and if you can, try to be there at twelve twenty. But if you got a class before that, then you got a class before that. I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you to be to leave the damn class early because of the other class. So you know. And please stop skipping all these classes, because y'all y'all thought you can skip in high school. Y'all can't skip. And no, uh, but it's six absences for subclass and three for three for others, something like that. Some people get um, some people on the third one they get sent out. Oh damn! Mm -hmm. I am. And the um, three absences equal or well, three tardies equal one absence. Yep. And you tardy after after some classes say ten minutes, some classes say twenty. I got a I got a two hour class. She said you asked another two hours, twenty minutes, so I was I would think thirty, but like Shmuki said twenty, so I'm just doing. Well, a lot a lot can happen twenty minutes. I ain't lying. We went through demo in twenty minutes, and then we get the class start starting stuff. Um, we don't got no curfew, but we do have quiet hours. Quiet hours started at 11 o'clock from 6, so you can't have no guests, outside guests on your campus from 11 to 6. Um, they don't check for real. Unless you got a car, they might tell That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I said if you got a car, don't leave your car on campus. But, um, one thing I can't say, if you gonna sneak people in, sneak people in, but don't get caught. Um, that's not my business. I'm not telling y'all to do it. I'm not telling y'all not to do it. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm telling y'all not to do it. So for somebody come back and play this video in my face, I'm telling you not to do it. So um, but you know if you do, we don't have very extreme room checks. So, but don't be breaking up people up here having them loud because y'all be blue, y'all blew me last semester. Well, not it's not y'all, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all blew me last semester all that hooting and hollering, all that hooting and hollering. Uh, yeah. Well, and then y'all not supposed to be up here. Don't got that near name in the system. Mm. Um. Yes, I go ahead. Um, we got a free tutoring. You just book it on the website and you go to the um, Founders Hall building and get the free tutoring. We got a free writing center. They help you to write your papers. Um, we get it to free to all the home games. That's baseball and basketball and etc. We have tennis, but it's not on campus. And I don't know if that's free. It might be free because I haven't been on a off campus. Um, we got an on campus nurse. She do free SC testing. She got birth control. She got free condoms. She got free lube. She got all the goods. Go up there and get y'all some. She would love to see y'all. She she gets excited to see new people. She always tell us to tell y'all to come on down there and go go see what's going on. The classes are small. It's like if you didn't go to a small high school, do you understand? But I went to a small high school, so um, it'd be like one teacher and like 15 students. It's not gonna be no class with like 500 people in it. So. 
Well, they have math lectures, like two classes. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, that too. But that's just math. Yeah, that's but just math. If you need help, go to office hours. And then some some people be saying, um, oh, office hours not help. Some, if you don't go in the office hours and ask for help, then they ain't gonna help. Don't just go up and they sit in there, thinking they're supposed to come to you. Um, we don't got no fast food places on campus, which I don't like, but we got places outside the campus. Like right here, we right here by this Bojangles. We got McDonald's, Bojangles, Wendy's, Dunkin' Donuts. I don't think I can think of anything. We got like five gas stations right here. Waffle House not too far. Oh yeah, Waffle House, that speed, speed. subway. Yup. Buckets. Buckets. Bu buses. Buses. And buckies. And yeah. they open late. Open late. Yeah, but that's like, that's the only thing. That's Waffle House open twenty four hours. I think. Yeah, ain't it? And then Bucky's open twenty four hours. I think. Mm. Too. So those are the only two things that's gonna be open. And if you want more variety, just go to Bucky's. Cause I get tired of eating Waffle House sometimes. But you yeah. know, Bucky's got a breakfast sandwiches in the morning. They got the chicken sandwiches and all that. Bitch, they got and coffee. All that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they got a lot of fountain drinks, all types of stuff. The campus is very diverse. We have foreign exchange students. We get to we got foreign exchange students. You know, people that speak different languages, people of different colors, people of different race, different ethnicities, different religions. It's very diverse. Even though the school is small. And um, labeled as a PWI. Yes, it's giving. They just the eyes. The P. The W is not really doubling sometimes. Mm -hmm. But um, we have um, many different organizations and groups. We got the NAACP. We got the NSLS. We got um, gospel choir. We got. It's a lot of stuff actually. Um, y'all can education club for I'm education say, majors. I don't be doing all of them. Yes. They got something about business. I just don't know all the names. We got study abroad. You can go to different. Well, like my friend, he going to Ecuador tomorrow. Yep, I think so. Yeah, he going to Ecuador tomorrow, y'all. Ecuador tomorrow. Um, they can, you can go to France. You can go to Canada. You can go to Great Britain. I think. Great. I want to go to um Canada, France, and Great Britain. I want to go to all three. I'm not gonna be able to go to all three, but I wanna go to all three. But basically what you do is instead you know how we got foreign exchange students in America, we will go to them to them countries and be foreign exchange students. And do a little class. You can do it in the summer, in the fall, or in the spring. I wanna do mine, I think I wanna do mine not next semester. But like maybe like junior year. That'd be a nice little vlog for y'all, nice little experience for me. I wanna go to Canada so bad. And that was the thing before I even knew about study abroad. I just wanted to go to Canada. Uh, Maple sir. Drake. Okay. Uh, we got two gyms. We got the UC. The UC calls at 10, I think. We got the Hayward gym. That's always open, I think. You just get your little ID and go up in there. And that was the fancier one anyway. The UC Steam. Well, if you like doing weights, the upstairs weight room. Oh, yeah, we got that too. But the team is being made sometimes. So I can give a pack. Okay, I'm going to because I think that's all the pros I got. Wait, well, so pearls, we, we do have work job we have jobs oh work study mm -hmm. get you a job on campus we got um the Second grill we got the dining hall we got the library we got a registration office we got the pool yeah um uh, they got something for nursing we're well, not nursing but like setting up labs but that's through the summer so. oh the uc the jobs in the uc yeah but you know you know you just go out there and find it yourself that's not my job to find you no job but mm -hmm. You go out there, they gonna definitely give you a job. I recommend doing that job instead of like working fast food. Cause you can just sit there and do your work and study. Instead of actually working. Okay, so on to cons. I think this is all the pros you got. And if there's anybody who watches this video, they're gonna friends me in. If y'all got any con I mean got any pros, come at some pros. But um number one, number one con, number one con that nobody ever mentioned, nobody ever said anything about was that it'd be like this smell it smell like it be smell like air like it be smell and it be like there for like a few hours it don't be like no whiff and then go away it be out there for like a few hours and then you go outside and it starts smelling like that outside i guess it's mm. like that because we is in the middle of we're not in the middle of the forest because how we in the middle of the forest if there's a highway right when we walk off to the little you know but you know yeah it's a little it's a little it don't be all, all the time but when it do happen it just stinks it's really stinks really stinks uh i don't know if that's from the water or what but we got we don't have elevators unless we do a move in. We don't use the elevator to move out. We don't have elevators to get to the floor. So if you handicap, they either gonna put you on the first floor or you just gonna have to use your crutches to get upstairs, like work your foot or something like that. Cause I don't like that. Like why you can't do why we can't just get a few a few little elevators? Mm -hmm.
Um, you already said from earlier, from 10 to 11, down the hall isn't serving anything hot. It will most likely turn you around. They probably only got the little waffle. All gates except one close at 11. So, yeah, we don't have a curfew, but they try to make sure that we limit it on how many gates people can flap in and flap out of them. Um, the dining hall is iffy. Some days the food is really good. Other days it's not. It's like you gotta catch one a good day, catch one a bit. You gotta catch one a good day. I like the subs. I hope they bring the subs back. I like the lasagna. Um, fried chicken with a. We got fried chicken with a, y'all. We don't repeat about. Um, dining hall closes at seven. We be hungry way after seven. I mean, I get these people gotta go home and all, but like, I just feel like I thought it closed at eight. It closed at seven. Oh damn. They just be in there till like 7.30, 7. Um, Only one restaurant on campus is called The Grill that closes at 8. I think that's what you're talking about. That closes at 8. Oh. And they got like, it's a Starbucks dupe. Philly cheese steaks. They got quesadillas. They got Burgers. burgers chicken tenders. Um, they got some some type of stir fry. Oh, you can yeah. get rice or noodles. Yeah. Or tofu. Get that. Um... We got Starbucks on campus, but it closes at 2, and they have very limited amount of things they can't do to customize the drink. Uh, first week of school, there were a ton of water bottles, but after that first week of school, they don't think they was gone. I think they weren't used to all these people out there. Because oh, yeah. um, honestly, I feel like it was just the fact that the lunch room wasn't being used, and then all of a sudden it started being used, and then, you know, it was like water. What it was like water. So when we started using the laundry room, I think they was like, oh shit, like we got people out here. But, you know, I've never seen them again, and even though we live in the middle of the woods, I don't really see much, uh, pests. Like, I don't be seeing no spiders or nothing like that. Maybe I haven't seen the possums. I see. I see. Possums. We got bit squirrels bad. We got squirrels bad. Oh, yeah, they run across your feet. We Not got squirrels feet, bad. Like. <clears throat> we also got, um, I don't know if somebody else seen it, but I know I seen it. Some damn deer is running in the car, y'all. Oh, yeah, no. There was some deer in the up, too. They was running, y'all. They was just galloping, baby, and them. But um, that's all the things I got to say. Um, this video will be edited and out this week. Um, I'm telling y'all like y'all gonna know, like I know what weekend it is. It's May 8th. This video probably gonna be out. Uh, anyway, um, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And let me know if you come to F you to be a fellow patriot. Um, we look forward to seeing you. If you see me speak once again, we're Alicia Janae and Kayla Andrea, <laughs> the duo team. <laughs> let me stop. We miss Joy Shamari. <laughs> right. <laughs> But yeah, see y'all later.